Hey everyone, have you ever wanted to change the appearance, look and feel of your Studio One software? Well, you can, and I'll show you how. Let's take a look. Customizing the appearance of Studio One is pretty easy. Let's open up a session here. There we go. Now you can see I've got 24 tracks, and right now I'm using what looks like a blue theme. And what I mean by that is if you look around, here you have a relatively kind of blue color. Now I created that. Let's open our preferences. I'll do command comma, and our preferences window opens. And under general, we have a tab for appearance. This is really cool. Now, what we're going to do, let me minimize this a little bit and drag it off to the side here. What this is going to allow us to do is change the look and feel and color of our Studio One software. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, why not? I know some producers who actually have a unique theme depending on what artist they're working on and that artist helped create it. You know, it helps them connect with the with the um, helps them connect with the creative process. But regardless, you can do this. Let me first start down here by loading presets. If I select this button down here, you'll see we've got some presets available for us. Colors, creative, light scheme, lighting, and then the ones that I save. Here's my first preset, CL preset one blue. That's the one we're looking at right now. Now, if I expand the colors tab, let's start going through some of these. As you can see, the whole look and feel changes. That's a nice one. Now, not only can you create your own presets and preview them, you can actually share them with your friends if you wanted. Let me go back down to default here. And I'll show you how to create your own preset. So basically the hue is going to give you the, the color foundation that you want to use. All right. And saturation here is going to increase the depth of that color. Luminance will be the brightness. Did you see that? After I crossed the from 0% here, it became a light color. So this is kind of your dark mode. And here's your light mode. All right. And down here under arrangement, this is going to affect the background grid color. Watch this. As I bring this down, it gets darker. As I bring it up, the background grid gets lighter. So you really do have a lot of flexibility in creating the kind of look and feel and color tone that represents you and your work. Let's go down to something a little purpley. Yeah. And let's increase that a little bit there. And let's make our back grid a little bit darker. And the contrast will, you know, tighten up and brighten up some of the details for you. And when you're ready to store this, just select store. Give it a name, anything you want. I'll do default to and save it. Now under load preset, you'll see it's right there. So I can switch between presets. Here's my first preset. Here's default. And here's default two that we just created. So changing the look and feel of your software is, is as easy as opening up the appearance tab here under general and actually having a little fun with this. Like I said, you can also store, load, and reset your work at any time. This will bring you back to default. So go ahead and have a little fun with this and make Studio One your own. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.